I can uh, go out in civic. From behind his desk at Vigilance House in the CBD, it is almost hard to reconcile this suit-clad officer with the combat gear wearing one who led the Huruma Collapse Disaster Management for 12 days and nights. His attention and energy were focused on managing all the aspects of the search, rescue and recovery at the building collapse that claimed 51 lives. It was really interesting but challenging uh, because this building, the way it was, it was a, a complex place in that uh, accessibility, uh, limitation of space, uh, the population, management. Those challenges notwithstanding, Masai counts every life saved, both human and livestock, as a highlight of the long and treacherous job. When uh, I, I always saved a baby, then you caught nine rapids. Then I called the press, I sent us a breaking news for creating rapids. And then what happened, people said, what must I say? And I told people, that is a sign of relief, we have life in the debris. So uh, people, uh, the, the engineers who are doing the drilling, uh, extrication activities, the all rescuers were inspired. The laws took a hit on him and his team. Uh, the last moment is when I lost one of the casualties because of uh, uh, the jam, uh, the, uh, the metrics on the ambulance, they tried their best, they offered the oxygen, but the cylinder ran out of oxygen. But at the scene of the incident, Piu Swachi Masai brokered no nonsense, firmly taking over the running of the exercise despite initial resistance from other units. He says having a central command in any disaster is the first and most crucial aspect that determines how successful the operation will be. You need to put people, think tank of the incident, the incident commander, his deputies, the liaison, the public information officer, very key. Management. For Pius Masai, the bug to serve humanity beats him at an early age when he joined the Scouts movement in school. He would progress to join the Kenya Police Service. It is through the service that he honed his skills through various trainings in disaster management and humanitarian support. Those skills are perfected in disaster prone Bosnia and Croatia as well as other countries. The father of six says his job, though challenging, is also extremely rewarding. He wouldn't have it any other way and not even his family can stand in his way. But the most important thing, balance the population and balance the family. Also, it is challenging. Like, I've never gone for leave. Since 2013 I came here, I've never been on leave. I've applied for leave. There's leave, but there's work. You know, sir? Over the last few years, he has become the face of disaster management and response in the country. And while he is known for the swift coordinated responses, it is this statement in the wake of the Garissa attack that thrust him into the national limelight. Fight out. Don't just be killed like cockroaches. Fight out. Some of you will be safe because if you fight out, shout, make noise, people will come for assistance. With the benefit of hindsight, does he regret making that statement? To put it clear to the people that uh, when they convert in those big numbers, the terrorism is real. And they should prepare that in case it happens there, they should run, hide or fight. And that infamous statement almost cost him his job, he says. Even sometimes it was said that I should be sacked from the police service. Yeah, there was a letter which came from somewhere, from somewhere, a senior government official, that this man should be... Relieved of his duties, but but, but yeah, but I said, mm -hmm. but my senior uh, officers they analyzed that they said no, this man he said this because it is his work. It is perhaps that brutally honest approach to his business of saving lives and preserving property that continues to keep him in this office and out on the field. When disaster strikes, you are likely to find peers or men like him who have dedicated their lives to saving those in trouble. And this is a calling that Pew says he will answer to as long as he still has the time, energy and expertise needed to do so. Brenda Wanga, NTV, in Huruma, Nairobi.